Hi friends, how are you? Oma is right here. How cute is that? <laughs> um, if you are just trying to starting out become an indie filmmaker, this video might be for you. You probably feel that the film industry is a little bit mysterious, especially come to producing and the distribution side of things. Uh, I think one of the reason is that distribution triggers a lot of our fears. Fears of the money and the time we invested in the film might be wasted and um, it might trigger a lot of uncertainty for us. And I think another reason that it's kind of mysterious is it does feel there's some secrecy there. People seem to not like to share that much. I think one of the reason is because every filmmaker going through very different process of distributing their film and then building that connection. So it's actually quite difficult for them to share. But I think if you are just starting out, it will be very helpful to share with you uh, what to expect in terms of the basic stuff once you have the film made. What are the things the sales agent and distributor are looking for? and then as well as what the process kind of like. Here, I'm only going to share with you a part of my own experience uh, because this is a very big, long process and it has a lot of the information. It's hard to condense into one video, but in the future, I will share more. So if you're interested, remember to subscribe to this channel. Um, and also, I'm not speaking for any other filmmakers out there. It's only my experience that I'm going to share here with you. And then this video is going to contain a lot of real stuff and some people might find it's the boring aspect of filmmaking, but it's very important. And now grab your coffee and let's get started. So if you've been with this channel for a while, you probably already know that my film was distributed by a US distributor in the North America area. And I have been actively working on trying to get distribution in the international space. Last Friday, I just signed with an international sales agent, EST Studio, and they are Asian film focused. They just announced our partnership news on the Screen Daily website. Um, so I think this is a great chance that I can share with you the process a little bit. So the first question, what is the difference between international sales and uh, US or North America sale. So when people say North America sale, usually it means US and Canada and all the area that belongs to US and Canada. Usually US and Canada are bonding together as a North America sale. So when you work with a US distributor or a producer's rep, usually they are going to help you get your film seen in this area of North America. And the international sale will be all the sales that's outside of this area. And then this is only speaking for and then this is only a term that's speaking for film that's made in the US. I don't know if you're in any other country, what uh, international era really means to you. But I know if your film is made in other country, usually, generally, when you sell to the US, it's also bonding together sell in US and Canada. So the second question, why did I uh, release my film in North America first and then now working on the international space. So as my film is an uh, indie film as well as it's a drama and it doesn't have a huge international talent in the film, it's actually not so good news for indie film because it's much harder to get distribution. You have to kind of reach a certain quality in order to uh, have the distributor interested in your film. So luckily, my film was able to be selected by Cinequest Film Festival last year. They are one of the prestigious indie film festival. And then through the film festival, I had um, a lot of producers rap and sales agent reach out to me. So when my film back then haven't signed with anybody, the sales agent 
while trying to get the entire rights, the worldwide rights for the film. Uh, meaning they want to have the rights for selling the film to the international space as well as the North America space. In the end, I picked to work with a producer's rep uh, because of a lot of recommendations and his reputation. Uh, but in general, most of producer's rep working as a rep representation for your film only in the US Canada space. And then I choose to went a safer route since there was a lot of recommendation so I decided to kind of distribute my film in the US Canada space first and then my producer's rep was able to connect my film with my current US distributor and then from there um, I start working directly with the US distributor about all the film delivery stuff and then all the plans to release the film. Uh, speaking of producer's rep, my producer's rep was just interviewed several months back by the Film Courage YouTube channel. Uh, so there were several very useful information videos that they produced together. I'm going to leave link down below so you can check it out. He shared much in-depth about film distribution based on his expertise on Film Courage channel. So I'm going to leave uh, these videos in the description down below so you can check that out. After my film is released in US and Canada area, and I have been start looking into the international sales space. And it's much more difficult to do so if your film is not a genre film or it's not having huge star. I'm not talking about famous stars in the film, but it has to be something that huge or you have enough buzz through like the tip top film festival, things like that. You might get easier chance to get international sale. Like I mentioned before, most sales agents want to sign the film as the worldwide right. Um, now my North America right was gone, so it's even harder for me to sign to a sales that willing to take on the film and only sell the film into the international space. Um, so even till today, I'm not 100% sure was that a right choice that I made and I'm still experiencing this process. I just keep telling myself this is an experiment and I will see how things go. And so far, so good. Um, I have a lot of good meeting with this sales agent and they are pretty new but they have been picking up a couple of pretty good films and then successfully representing and distributed those films and then they are very picky about which film they are going to represent because they are Asian focused lucky me uh, my film is Asian America story and then most of my crew are Asian Americans so that makes things a lot of more attractive for them and also my leading actress is actually famous in Asia area so that may help them a little bit in terms of trying to pitch and sell the film for me. After a couple of months of negotiating the terms and the contract, uh, meaning the things that relate to money, uh, how much sales agent fee they're going to take and how much expenses they're going to recoup, what my responsibilities are in terms of delivering film to them, uh, things like that. After we reached the agreement and signed the contract and then now they announced the partnership um, line uh, through news media. So I'm going to talk about the negotiating process in the future in this channel because I'm still in a learning space. I don't want to share things I'm not very sure of. I'm also negotiating and then picking the term with unknowns, with only like asking a couple people. Also my producer rep gave me some opinions based on his experience, but I will share with you in the future once the things keep progress and when I see return from the film. So after I signed the sales agent, the question is what next? 
so the sales agent is not going to distribute my film on their own unless they couldn't sell the film. What they will do is they will collecting a bunch of film and then packaging them and then they will represent this group of film in different film markets. So next time they will go to Busan film market uh, in Asia area for this year as well as AFM in um, Santa Monica I believe to representing the film. A lot of uh, distributor will talk to sales agent especially when they have packaged a group of films together and then they usually negotiating those indie films by group so it increases the likelihood that your film is going to get sold. Of course if you have a film that had a huge festival buzz okay if you get like audience award in Sundance or jury award in Sundance where you have a huge talent it's more likely some sales agent will take your film and then directly pitch your film individually to those distributors and then more likely those distributors will reach out to you like you will have the partnership already that you probably don't even need a sales agent but in general most of sales agents do package film together representing those film together a quick disclaimer Anything that I shared in this video is going to be based on my own personal experience and my understanding of things. And uh, I'm continuously learning and will keep doing so. Uh, please don't get discouraged by anything that I share here. Don't only take my word for it. Do more research on your own and then remember anything is possible, especially in this industry. Okay. And it's doable, but it's a little bit harder uh, if you, as a producer, go to AFM, the film market, and trying to reach out to those distributors and representing your film by yourself. A lot of people have done that. I've no um, director producer. She has done that for her film, but her film actually have a good talent from Europe area, and then it's a horror film. And then in general, genre film, it's easier to sell in those film market into the international space. I hope that makes sense. So in order to package the film, they need me to basically deliver everything that they can use. Uh, to represent the film from the artistic side of the thing to the legal side of the thing. Um, so that comes to the deliverables. Deliverable is basically a sheet of list of things that you signed alongside the contract that you agree to deliver those list of things to the distributor on the time uh, there's the deadline that you promise you will dis like deliver and then you will pay for all of those things as well. Basically, the sales agent is going to take these deliverables from film still, film poster, the film trailer itself, all the soundtracks, musics and stuff to legal stuff and then those stuff are things that they will use and then in the future they will de deliver to the future distributor directly uh, without going through me again. I hope that makes sense. And I did a compare the deliverable from my international sales agent with the one that from my US distributor. And then they are pretty similar. They have a lot of overlap there, only in slightly different. And now I'm going to go through the deliverable list with you and then you know what you expect, what other things you need to give to this company in order to help you sell the film. These are basically the products that you're making um, and I hope those information can make the whole process less mysterious and a little bit easier for you. 
Hi guys, it's Editing Nani here with our eyebrow and then Booker is right there cleaning himself. Um, and I just realized that this video is going to be too long, uh, so I decide to split the video to half. So everything about the deliverable list will be presented in the next part of this video. I hope the first part of the video is helpful for you and please let me know if there's anything missing that you want to know more, you can ask a question in the comment down below and then uh, if you have a very different experience about film distribution you can also share in the comment down below with us as well we would be very appreciate you and then uh, yeah thank you so much for watching this video be patient be present stay creative i'll see you in part two bye Beep.